Hello, in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how we can overlay two or more images in EMG UCV. So this is an example given a background image. The background here is the teddy bear image and the foreground image is Masha's uh, image and I overlaid it on the teddy bear. Let us see how we can implement this. I already created a Windows Forms project and is configured to use EMG UCV. You can check one of my previous videos. The first thing that I'm going to do is go into this menu tab and add image overlay. Double click on it. Here the first thing that I will do is to apply a try catch block so that I can handle the exception first. Message box tab tab ex dot message and also since i need an image to be displayed so i will make sure that i have an image here so a picture box dot image if this equals equals null it means we have not selected any image then just i'm going to return i can write it in one line so and the second thing i just want is uh, I don't want always to overlay the image in this location so I can overlay anywhere so with the mouse I will be able to select uh, one of the locations in my previous videos I think I showed this uh, process ROI so we can select a region of interest by region of interest we do not need all the region but the click of the mouse or the beginning of the place where we uh, click the mouse we need that location so we can get it from here if uh, rect rect equals equals now then i will also return i mean i will not do anything uh by the way i don't think i need this thing because if my rectangle default it will be at zero zero so if my uh, if the user does not select any location so we will be by default selecting somewhere here and if user select somewhere the location we will display it there so maybe i will comment it and if you need it you can update it accordingly and then i want to open a file dialog so that the user will select the image that he wants or she wants to display it as a foreground image so let's use the open file dialog and let us show this dialog to the user dot show dialog and uh, he should uh, he must select an image so that uh, dialog result should be equal to okay so it means the user has selected an image to overlay on this background image so then we can do it variable uh, first i will read the image from my picture box so this is how i will do it i will call it image one is equal to new bitmap and i'm reading it from picture box dot okay and uh, i will convert it into an emg ucv structure by calling this to image and uh, we assume that it will be a bgr image and uh, that's it and uh, this is what i will highlight it as the background image and now we need the foreground image that we want to overlay so i just name it like img2 is equal to new image it will also be a bgr image or just depth is bytes and here since user is going to select from the dialog box so i will be using dot file name so we have the background image img1 and the foreground image img2 maybe one thing i will also do since the misha image is a little bit bigger so i just want to reduce it make sure that this img1 should be greater than img2 so to make sure maybe i can reduce the size by calling this method resize and maybe i'm just rescaling just 75 percent of the image that i'm going to use and the interpolation type that i'm just going to use is maybe cubic is better in terms of results 
this is the image of Masha and yes you can see the background is white and just I only need this part so what I will do essentially is apply some threshold and try to remove this background so what I can do here is I can create a mask for the Masha I call it IMG2 dot convert I just need a grayscale image so I just convert it into a grayscale image first and once I convert it into a grayscale image I can then apply a threshold binary inverse why I am using inverse is because the background is white so since background is very much white so I'll be using 245 for example if this value is less than this one then replace it with 255 which is the highest value and uh, okay so this is how we get it and once I get the mask maybe we can show this one in picture box G uh, is equal to if it so mask dot image sorry dot two bitmap let us run in a file open first of all I am going to open the background image so this is the background image that I want to display and on top of it I just want to overlay another image so which image I want to overlay is let me select Masha so here what I see is some problems I think the there are some problems uh, we can easily fix them okay the Masha has been selected but the, the, even though there are some uh, problems the easiest and the simplest thing that I will do is before applying this thresholding I should do some smoothing so that uh, the pixels around this the, the similar pixels will have almost similar distribution of the colors so okay I just do a smoothing of kernel size 3 and uh, let's see if it is working fine or not in image processing the results are basically uh, driven by how you get the results and then you need to work on it how we can improve them or something so that's why I am just individually checking every result so Masha and now when I click on it now you can see that those pixels have gone and it's okay for us and we can work on this now once we get the mask what I want to do is we are only interested in these pixels and what I need to do this is a smaller image and the background is a bigger image and I want the location where I need to copy it so this is where the rectangle is useful for us so what I will do once we have the rectangle by default I create the object of a rectangle somewhere up in there in the code and the only thing that I will set is dot width what will be the width width will be the width will be the same as my image two dot width okay and rect dot height will be the same as img two dot height and if user has not selected any location default location will be as I said zero zero that's why I am doing and now this rectangle is important because I want to set the ROI of my background image which is IMG1 dot ROI is equal to the rectangle okay now I can work in this area what I will do is the first thing that I will do is set value I want to set all the values here in the background image to zero but which pixels it's important not all the pixels only the pixels which are white in this mask so that's why I created the mask of the Masha so the Masha area will be set to zero in the background image and remember I also want to set the values of the pixels in the Masha's the ones which are not the mask I want to set them to zero so this is how I will do not the mask what I mean by not the mask so whatever I am saying I am doing it so not the mask so around the pixels the pixels which are outside the masa's, uh, masas contour so I set them why I set them 
like this so that I will do image one dot. I will perform a basically an OR operation with IMG2. Okay, so that uh, we will have only the common elements. I mean, one of them, which one is true, will be copied from IMG2 into IMG1. And uh, then what I need to do is to set the ROI back to rectangle dot, not rect, rectangle dot empty. So this is one way of doing it. So whatever you are com my, uh, comes to your mind, you can do it. Maybe you can do a, an end operation. Maybe you can do a multiplication or maybe you can do a weighted averaging or adding of them, whatever you want. So with this one, I did it. And uh, one more thing that I want to do is I will use my custom method, add image to display it in the tree box uh, in the tree view. So IMG1 and its title will be image overlay. And then in the picture box, maybe I can show, we don't need the mask now. I will show image one. And uh, let us see if we are able to get whatever we want or not. So the background image, I will use the same image that I am working with. And for, I'm not selecting any location, so I'm working with the default location so that we will see what I meant to say. So now, I, fine. This is fine that it is locationing. If we do not select any ROI, it will automatically display at zeroth location and its width and the height will be the same as the template. And if you want to display it somewhere here, then in the input image, I will select the location. So I think I created this ROI, select ROI. So this select ROI is basically, this is the location that I want. The, the rectangle is not important. As I mentioned, the left top corner is the important place which I'm using actually. Okay, so just as I draw a rectangle to select, it will start drawing Masha from this place. So let me go to overlay. And now I'm going to select the image of Masha. And now you can see that it has been displayed uh, in the location that I wanted. But one more thing you might have noticed that there seems to be a wide boundary around it. So maybe when I use this, Smoothing uh, might be it is just creating some boundaries because or maybe during the thresholding it is not able to distinguish this boundary. So uh, if you are an image processing expert, you might realize that maybe a, a morphological operation like erosion will help us to remove this boundary. Uh, we can do that also if you feel that this is not good here. And if you are happy with the boundary, there is no problem. So where we did the thresholding and a smoothing and a thresholding and just after thresholding, you can perform an erosion operation. One time is enough, I guess. So let us see if it is working fine. File, open, and again, I will select this one. And I also want to select the region of interest. Let's say I want somewhere here. And then image overlay and the bear is that Masha is here. So now you can see that the boundaries, although there is a little bit problematic thing, but uh, at least it gives us a visual impression that we have just put this uh, Masha right in the middle. So this is how we can overlay an image on the another. And if you want more, for example, you can easily do that. So in this case, I'm saying, okay, let me put somewhere here. And once again, if I go to image overlay and let's say there should be, a, remember that it should be a small image. Okay, let's try to do this. So there are multiple images and you can uh, overlay as many images as you want. The idea is just to tell you how we can use OpenCV or EMGU CV to work with different images. Okay, hope to see you in another video.